Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Aaron Goss. Uh, in today's episode, what we're gonna be breaking down is the proper technique on how to barbell curl. Now, just to give you some anatomy background of where the biceps are, the biceps are located right here. There is the short head and the long head, and they both attach to the forearm, as well as they originate from the shoulder. Now, when working the biceps, the only thing that actually works the bicep is elbow flexion. So we gotta make sure that when we're doing a bicep curl, we're just allowing the elbow to flex. Again, as the triceps in my earlier videos, the triceps extend, the bicep flexes. So whenever we're trying to work the bicep, you always gotta think, okay, this is an elbow movement. We have to flex the elbows in order to work the bicep. So as we said, the biceps is right here. There's a the long head and the short head and they attach to the forearm. And we know that in order to work the biceps, we need to have elbow flexion, right? So how does that exactly work on a barbell? Well, as you can see, we need to have elbow flexion. So when we grab the barbell, all we have to do is make sure everything's solid tight and we're, all we're doing is working through our elbow. So all we have to do is curl up like this. Now, a lot of people, typically butcher this movement. What you wanna actually do is keep everything really tight in your body. And really guys, the only thing that's actually moving is just your elbow. As we said before, this is an elbow movement. The elbow needs to flex in order to work our biceps. So now what I'm gonna do is break down the barbell curl into five steps. And they're really easy five steps to do and it's pretty hard to forget this. So step number one is get your grip. And what I like to uh, generally do is grab the bar right beside my pockets. I like this because of the fact that we're able to get a lot of range of motion when we're curling. And there's nothing wrong with going out wide, just if you're a beginner, I recommend just grabbing it right beside your pocket. Okay, so we got our grip right beside our pockets. Now what we're gonna do is unrack the bar like so. Now for step number two, what you wanna make sure is you wanna keep your shoulders nice and tucked back like this. So we just went over step number one, grab the bar, right near our pockets. Step number two, roll our shoulders back. Now for step number three, what you're gonna do is basically engage our glutes. And why do we engage our glutes? Well, number one is because of the fact that when some people curl, they tend to use their hips. They thrust their hips into the bar. And what this is doing is carrying momentum to the curl. It's all hips. We don't want that. Again, this is just an elbow exercise. We're not using our hips. This is not a deadlift or clean. This is solely a bicep elbow exercise. So when we are using our glutes, we wanna squeeze them as hard as we can, shoulders back, and make sure that our hips are not swinging when we're doing the barbell curl. Now for step number four, what you wanna do after you squeeze your glutes is wrench your elbow into your side. So typically when you're curling, you don't wanna have your elbows out like this. What you wanna do is twist your arms and elbows and glue your elbows into your side, wrenching them into your ribs, okay? So typically what you wanna do is make sure this part of your body, this elbow, is facing the direction you're facing. So we're gonna move on to our final step, which is step number five, doing the actual curl. So we're gonna go through all our steps again. So grab the bar, your pockets, shoulders back, squeezing our butt as hard as we can, wrenching our elbows in, and then we actually use our elbows to curl. So we're using our biceps, engaging them as tight as possible. See how I'm not swinging? I'm keeping nice and stable. All I'm working here is the biceps. So again, shoulders back, squeeze the glutes as hard as you can, solely use the biceps, wrench those elbows in. And when you're actually curling up, I want you to curl all the way to your chin. So like this, almost touch your chin, and then bring it back down the same way you did when you brought it back up. So that's it for the video. I hope this helped anyone who didn't know the proper technique or form on how to do a barbell curl. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.